This is art that anyone can see, take a drive, get on your bike, get, you know, put your tennis shoes on and walk around. You know, it's just the wall and it's just your perception of it and there's no placard telling you this piece was made on this date with these materials and it means this and this is how you should think about it. I love that there's an open interpretation on these murals and people can tell me what they think about it. I was very nervous starting a business in this area that really was perceived as very dilapidated, very run down, that had a lot of crime, it was very dark. It was our corridor going into downtown. It should have been some place that was vibrant and, and exciting and had lots of shopping and energy and I could kind of see little pockets sort of popping up and I could see the vision of what we could be. I remember coming to Midtown, I used to love to come here, and I thought that this was the up-and-coming area for Reno, the hip, you know, exciting area. And so it's real exciting for me now to see how it has flourished because of the arts in this area. And Reno is one of those places you give it a couple of weeks and you don't leave. You really don't. People really fall in love with Reno and it becomes home. And I passed through Reno for a weekend to see a friend and Reno captured me in three days and I decided to move here instead for the art scene. The first weekend I noticed the murals and we had two in the back alley of Valley and Fourth where the building was. One was done by Eric Burke and one was done by uh, the Brona. And I thought, this is pretty amazing. These really neat murals are in the back of this alley in this bad part of town. I think a lot of um, muralists kind of come to painting murals and working outside from graffiti. It all started really with kids and spray cans and that graffiti scene and it morphed very quickly into more of a fine art muraling scene. I mean, you can see how it's progressed to wonderfully painted murals that are museum quality. I've been fortunate enough to go and paint in other cities and with other artists and I love the idea of bringing them to Reno so they could collaborate with our local artists and um, share and learn from one another. And so this is a great example of this wall of Nevada Fine Arts. The two owners, Mark and Debbie, wanted to have make their building look like it was full of arts. So they hired these seven muralists, um, some of them from other parts of the country, and they did this amazing wall and this really catapulted uh, the Reno scene into that next level of everyone wanting to be a part of it. People take notice from all over the world and that's what's exciting. I think that Reno really is being on the map as an arts and culture destination. It's a great thing for our community to have an influx of artists. We can't do it all ourselves. <laughs> I could go to San Francisco, I can go to LA and paint, but I feel like they already have a lot of mural work and here is where we need mural work done. So this very uh, eclectic and vibrant art tour started right there in Midtown because of all the different murals that were popping up all over the district. When I, people would come visit, I would drive them around or walk around and look at the murals. And then Gerald and I started doing it and I, this light bulb hit somewhere along the way that everybody should be doing this. And so there's a self-guided tour that anyone can do at artspotreno.com when you come into town. It's brought in a lot of people, it's showing them what's going on and all the reactions that I've gotten so far are positive. Now when you, you go down there, there's so much arts and culture and so many things that, that are happening, more businesses are opening, more artists are coming in, and so we're very proud of it. In 2010, I did this mural. I wanted to do two large portraits and they took on a real cartoony effect. So I redid it with the new skill sets that I've developed over the years. I think that the murals, they have a strong historical context, and I think that they have a lot of personal jewels in each of the murals. The mural over at Nevada Fine Arts was really close to me because I live only a few blocks from there. The background is a large pattern of designs, but also you'll kind of see these lines that create a grid, and they recreate the streets around the neighborhood there. And on it, I put little houses and little marks showing all the places that were a part of me growing up in the neighborhood and where I lived and where best friends lived and important things happened. And then on top of it is the portrait of my wife with her eyes and it's, it's just about vision 
no one's vision in particular, but just all of our vision and how we see our neighborhoods and our towns. I think we want art all over the city because honestly it's great for economic development. I think it brings character to a city and certainly as the mayor, those are the kinds of projects you want to see in your city because it does bring the flavor of, of what your city is all about. I, I truly believe in an arts and culture movement. And so we are really looking at different areas of town where we can provide more arts and culture. There are now murals. Uh, we have a Circus Circus who has a, a mural wall. Uh, there are more, more murals in downtown Reno. There are murals now as far west as Mayberry Park. We own a lot of a lot of land in the city of Reno, and I think that would be our goal, is to be able to put art on every single vacant piece, because it's just sitting there. And I think we could certainly do something that the community and tourists can, can enjoy. It's still gonna attract people. There's still gonna be people taking photos of the building where they weren't before. And I think economically, that can certainly help those spaces, and then they, people start to see something that never existed. There's still gonna be a lot of dynamic change in the area just from a simple coat of paint.